Hi, you guys. <laughs> Hi, guys. I am Bella. I am the lieutenant of the wifey's crew. Um, I've been on tag for a minute now. Just, you know, I'm not a consistent streamer, but I try to do my best. Y'all can catch me some nights, late night, chilling, doing my hair or something. But yeah, I, I just, I be streaming here and there, and that's about all. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? What's going on, wifey? What's going on, Bella? How y'all doing? Hey. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, I stream. I've been on here at Tag for about three years. I stream on and off. Um, of course, I mean, everybody that knows me knows I drive trucks. So majority of the time when I'm streaming, I'm in the truck or whatnot. But yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Yeah. Make sure y'all fade me up. Fade y'all. But where is my, oh my goodness. Okay. My fault. You know me, man. Okay. And I got some good questions too. <laughs> I'm excited about both of them. <laughs> Okay, dude. Man. Let's see. They call me Pope. You feel me? I'm 28 from Birmingham, Alabama. You know. See, I'm just feel me. I'm just myself. You know, independent young black man. You feel me? You know, I work and shit. Yeah, say it like that. If y'all y'all can get the number to the show. Let's go. Fact. <laughs> okay. So the first question that I have. And I'm gonna start with Wu. Where are you originally from? Um, Houston, Texas. <laughs> oh, I'm originally from Birmingham, Alabama. Born and raised. I've been here my whole life. All right, next question. Um, oh, I'm from I'm originally from Germany. If anybody cared. <laughs> well, he... um, I was raised in Panama, so. Um, next question. What's a place you've always wanted to travel to but haven't been yet? Quote. I always wanted to go to Amsterdam. So you can, like, smoke weed in public and they got to worry about the laws getting on your ass and shit. So that's always cool, you feel Amsterdam. Or, or anywhere you can smoke weed legally. You feel I'm from Birmingham, you feel they, they still locking young young black men up for this shit, you feel so anywhere where you can smoke weed legally out in public, I ain't gotta worry about shit, that's where I wanna go. But to name a place, Amsterdam. <laughs> okay, <we'll... laughs> Um <sighs> Um, I want to go to China. Yeah. <laughs> Why you want to go to China? <laughs> um, 
Man, I just nah, nah. It's just I don't know. It's I don't know where it came from. I just it's just one of them places as a kid. I don't know. It's just like she. I want to go to China. I can't tell you why. Hmm. You still want to go over there with COVID and everything? I mean, it's. Oh no, no. I mean, you know, if outside of all that, you you talking about right now? Yeah, like. Right now, a place that you would want to go, like I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't really. I mean, you mm. do travel a lot because you drive trucks. But yeah, I, y'all gotta forgive me. Like I go somewhere, I'm, I'm, I'm in every other state that I want to be in every other day. You know what I'm saying? I'm in California. I was just in Vegas the other night. I'm going to New Jersey for this load that I'm going to. It's a lot of places that I see so much that. I don't be wanting to do nothing but sit my ass down at the house. I that's the way I'm like, can we sit? <laughs> but um nah. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, next question. Um Pope, what was the weirdest habit you had as a child? What was the weirdest habit I had as a child? Uh, I ain't gonna lie. You know how like when you go to sleep and shit and like you lay on something and when you wake up, you still had a like imprints on your skin or what you fell asleep on. They call them sleep marks. Like when I was a kid, I used to always like rub my grandma's sleep marks and shit. So like, I guess like I like that shit. I don't know why. I just do. I like sleep marks. So I, that's a little weird habit of mine. You feel that? I can say I like rubbing sleep marks and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, and we <we'll laughs> Though, what's the question? <laughs> oh, I apologize for cursing. My bad. My bad. What was the weirdest habit you had as a child? Um, weirdest habit I had as a child. She. Um, Oh, doing my little sister hair. That was weird. You said weird. Doing my little sister's hair. I felt I like know. that was weird. Hey, that, hey, that, ain't, hey, that ain't weird, brother. My sister counted on me to do her hair. She, she messed up. <laughs> I ain't gonna even For say real. that weird. <laughs> like I used to have to, if, if my tea lady wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Like if my tea lady wasn't there or whatever, she'd be like, you need to do her hair. Like do her hair, like you know, do this. So she, I thought that was weird. I didn't think none of my other friends had to do shit like that. So I was like, oh stuff like yeah, that, my yeah, fault. I ain't, yeah, I ain't never did my sister hair for him. <laughs> see, 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 see what I'm saying? See, oh man, that's what I was just saying. If my sister ever had to count on me to do her hair. She messed up. I ain't got you, sis. I give you money to get your hair done, but far doing it myself, I ain't. I, hey, no, I'm, I'm cool on that. <laughs> But at least I know you know how to do hair. That's what's up. All right. Um, next question. I'm gonna start with you, Wu. If you won the lottery, what is the first thing you would buy? Uh, insurance policy. That's smart. I don't like got a life one. Insurance policy, you know, like man. a life insurance policy, yeah. If I won a lottery, lottery depending on how much of it, I would put, I would put a quarter of my pilot. I would put a quarter of whatever I hit for in insurance policy, and life insurance policy, just in case anything happened to me. At least I know my mama and them will be straight. Cause what niggas get crazy behind money, family members get crazy behind money, all kind of shit. So I make sure at least a quarter, put twenty five percent of whatever I hit for, I'm it's going on life insurance. And if I don't die, it'll just make money anyway. So it's cool. But that's what I was spending on. Okay, okay. And Pope, same question. If you won the lottery, what's the first thing you're going to buy? First thing I'm buying is Bitcoin. Because that's going up. Folks getting rich off the Bitcoin on everything. Cryptocurrency, where is it right now? So I'm buying Bitcoin. At that, I'm buying real estate. Because people always need a place to stay. I'm renting out houses. Now the day I'm getting a liquor license because everybody gonna want to go to the booty club after they celebrate all them good victories and stuff. <laughs> hey, hey, when when, when Corona came, more folks were going to the club before Corona. So after Corona, hit, yeah, I'm, I'm giving me a liquor license. I'm giving me a oh, liquor yeah. license. 
Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 And liquor license. That's what I'm buying my uh lottery. Okay, okay, okay. Well, if I hit the lottery, I'm a I'm gonna buy me a house so I can have me a somewhere of my own to call my own. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, next question. Um I'm gonna start with uh Pope. What what are you tired of hearing about the most in the media right now? Um, I hear so much shit that's a real. I'm tired of Lori Harvey stuff. Like, I never knew someone dating like a hit national news. Like, bro, who cares, bro? So what the girl that went through? What so what she done went through? A couple of rich people, bro. Who cares, bro? This is everyday life stuff that happened, then, bro. Like, come on, bro. This this stuff made breaking news. It's too much more important stuff going on. Bro. I was up and down, Lori Harvey. That's what I'm tired of hearing of right now, Lori Harvey, bro. Let her date who she want to date, bro. Who cares, bro? Yes, she had pizza. Yes, she had P Diddy. She had P Diddy son. Now Michael B Jordan. Like, bro, who cares, bro? Yeah, so that's what I'm tired of hearing of. Lori Harvey. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and woo. Um, what am I tired of hearing? I don't know, man. I don't know. Excuses, I guess. Uh, excuses. I'm tired of hearing excuses. Everybody got excuses. On TV, in the news all the time. I'm talking about on media right now. What are you talking oh. about? What do I hear on social media the most? Um, the the young thug, the you know everybody opinion about the YSL stuff. Free um, YSL. Yeah, that you know the consistent. Hey, you know what's crazy? It I was not surprised, and this is what made me feel bad when these kids got shot in this school. It didn't make it. This is what made me feel bad. I did not. I wasn't surprised. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, because if it's been feeling like as a lately stuff been like they, it's been real consistent with the some the epic stuff that's been going on. So I was like, yeah, it's like I'm. It seemed like I'm tired of that. Like it's just this ain't coming from somewhere. It's coming from somewhere. And why is it coming all at one time right now? So whatever, and I ain't just talking about just the kids shit. I'm just talking about everything. Like it's a lot of fuck shit going. On. Excuse me, it's a lot of messed up stuff going on throughout everybody's life, and I feel like a lot of that is going on right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of the, the all of it. Like, oh am I am I just tripping? Was it this bad ten years ago? Five years ago? I mean, honestly, if you if you think about it. This stuff keeps happening, and yes, it was this bad because, like, ten exactly like ten years ago, twenty kindergarten—I mean, twenty first graders—got slaughtered at Sandy Hook. So, I mean, it's like it—it's just like a repeating cycle. And then, like, when you looking at this stuff, you seeing that this stuff is in the Bible already. So, it must have happened before we even got here. Thanks. Yeah, they say nothing new under the Lord's sun. It's still been going on. It's just media got every, everybody knowing what's going on pretty much. Keep folk been killing kids and stuff like that. It's just more abroad now. More abroad in society. Yeah, that, like everybody that, still, that, everybody got their hands on the information and stuff. Yeah, social media makes it more known. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But uh okay, next question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, well, what is if you could only watch three movies for the rest of your life? What would that? What would them three movies be? Friday, um, Friday, he got game. Friday, he got game, and Kings of Comedy. 
Friday, he got game in King's Company. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Friday, he got game in King's Company. <laughs> Oh well, I can't, I can't, I can't live without them three. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> all right, for me, three, I'm gonna say three, um, watch over and over again for the rest of your life. That's all you get to watch. Them three movies. Yeah, I'm gonna say um, Life with Martin Lawrence and Eddie Murphy. Um. Oh, I forget about that. I'm uh. Oh, uh, Deliver Us from Evil with LL Cool J. That's a classic. I like that one. And, um, oh, God. I'm going to have to say, um, damn. So, Life, Deliver Us from Evil. Hmm. Classic, classic. Boys in the Hood. Fuck it. Boys in the Hood. I, I, I can watch Boys in the Hood the rest of my life. Well, mine would be, I can watch The Temptation. <laughs> you going to be two stepping to it, too? I'm saying you do the dance. This is, I'm saying we're going to be dance stepping to the songs. I'm just asking. Um, I can watch um, and, and the last two is Jada movies. I, one of them is called Woo. I love that movie with Jada Pink Smith. <laughs> And then the other okay, one is okay. um, the other one is uh, I think it's is it Menace to Society? I think she played in that. I think she was uh, in Menace to Society. Yeah, she was in Men- yeah, she was in Menace to Society. She was the girlfriend. Yeah, she was. She was. All right. So yeah, Menace to Society. Yeah, she was. Then my three movies. All right, next question. Woo. Are you usually the dumper or the dumpy? Hold on. <laughs> dump, 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 dumpy, like the one to get dumped. Yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, nah, I got issues. I walk away too fast. <laughs> so you the I dumper. Got issues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And what about you, Pope? <laughs> See, I mean, I don't know what to call it, cause like I do shit to make folk like want to leave me, but I don't even be doing shit though. It's just like they just be want to walk away, cause I don't be want to do what they tell me to do and shit. I guess I'm gonna say dumper, cause I don't mind like breaking shit off. Like I don't care what we had. If 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 if, if you ain't rocking with what I got going on, or if I'm in, if I'm too incompatible for you, shit. You know, um, you know, I take kit rock quick, so I guess I'm the dumper. He don't even want to try. He just gonna walk away. That is messed up. No, that no, that, that, that the thing about it. I will try. I, I, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. I will try, but I don't like arguing about the same thing over and over and over again. It made me feel retarded. Like if we didn't already had a discussion about some. I don't want to have this same discussion two days later. Like, we did not already talked about it. Like, I'm not retarded, bro. Like, if, if we talked about some, please believe the next week, I'm going to remember what we talked about last week. You feel me? So I don't want to keep talking about the same shit. So, yeah, I walk away quick if you want to keep talking about the same shit. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm the, I'm the dumper. <laughs> I dump yeah <gay> quick. <laughs> <laughs> He is turning this into a disaster real quick. <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. All right. Next question. All right. Starting with Wu. Who in your family are you closest to? My sister. Okay. Uh, who am I closest to? I mean, I am not, hey, and for all the ladies out there, like, when I say this, don't think I am a mama's boy, because I'm not, but I'm a most, having, I'm a most definitely had to say my mother, like, I came from her, she buried me into this world, yeah, I mean, I did come from my dad, net sack, that's scientifically true, but growing up, I always bonded with my mom more, you feel me, like, don't get me wrong, me and my daddy, we be thugging too, like, I love my pops, but 
when he, when we talking about the closest person in my life, I'm gonna have I'm gonna definitely have to say my mom. Like my mom was there for everything. Like if I were to go to jail right now, she the only she the only woman I can call on in my life. You feel me? So yeah, I'm gonna have to say my mom. Thank you. Okay, well I'm I'm when I when I think about about it, the person that I'm the closest to is probably my youngest daughter. I I don't know. She just she she acts just like me and she's just like me and we talk every day and she had to fall asleep on the phone with a thumb in her mouth with me on the other line just holding the phone staying in her sleep. So I'm gonna have to say my daughter so then. All right, next question. You sound like a motherly answer. No, you a mom. <laughs> All right, um, next question, Pope. Um, do you believe in love at first sight? I don't. Cause that's how you get trapped. <laughs> what you mean? I know a lot of people who messed up situations because they thought they had love at first sight. You feel me? Like it may look like an angel, but when you get to dealing with that mofo, it could be a whole demon at you. You feel me? So everything glitter ain't gold. So now nah, I don't believe in love at first sight. Well, sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, what, <well>, boo? <laughs> <laughs> Love at first sight, um, yeah. It can be love at first sight. Do that mean it got to be blind love? You ain't got to be dumb. You ain't got to be stupid. But I believe you can see a person and analyze them fully and hear them open their mouth or maybe not and say, yeah, I'll do right by this person. And for me, I think that's the beginning stages of love, just being able to say that you'll do right by my by a person. So I don't know what everybody's definition of love is, but I don't know. I just got a little bit more of a real expect, you know, just a perspective about how love for me. I don't know, but that's just how I see it. If once you make up your mind, you're going to actually like do right by a person. I feel like that's love right there because that right there mean more than just the word. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like you can meet a person and be like, yeah, I do right by this person. And as long as you try to do right, you're going to do right. Okay, okay. Yeah, I feel that to an extent, but I ain't, I ain't, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah, right yeah. by no more, by, no, by nobody's ever how they look. Hell no. Nah. I mean, at one point. Yeah, yeah, no, nah, it would definitely be a feeling. I was ready to go on that show Married at First Sight. I applied to be on that show Married at First Sight, New Orleans edition. And so I was going to get married to the first person that they put me out there with. You didn't even know that person. First time I came. It could be love at first sight, I believe. All right. All right. I believe it. <laughs> Next question. Um. All right. What I'm gonna start with you. Will. What high level job do you think you could lie your way into with no experience and no one would notice? What high level job? Man, anything that got something to do with the stock, like 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 anything that got something to do with the stock market. Whatever job that them dudes got, man, where they know the stock market, like they know they at the very top, at the very, very top of the stock market, that job. I want that job. If I could lie and get into that job, I knew I, 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 I would be straight forever. I would be like, it would be an abundance of cash. It would be an abundant, like, come on, bro. It would, life would be easy. <laughs> For real. <laughs> oh, man. Them type of people making different kind of money. The people that's at the very top of that scam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me. I'm sorry. I just, that's what I believe. Look, shoot, man. The people that, whoever hustle that is, whatever, whoever came up with that hustle, the stock market, who's ever at the top of whoever the, because come on, we, I'm a real, you know, come on now. 
just like you got to sell bundles and nails and just like it got to be a somebody of of, of, of of that's the same person at Walmart and craft and it's just different levels. So it's somebody at the top of this stocks and bonds where you're making all this money and it's going into these accounts and it's some people at the top of that. Let me get that job. Let me, I'm going to take that. Okay. <laughs> I, hey, man. Yeah. All right. Um, Pope, same question. You need me to read it again? No, I understand. Um, the question was on what type of high level service could I lie my way into? Yeah. Honestly, I mean, we all understand and know the ways of the world and the government run a major portion of all our lives. So I would lie my way to be a secret service agent. You feel me? Like, oh. I, I, know all your, I know all your business, I know all your spots, and I can whack you and get away with it under the government law. <laughs> I want to be a secret service agent. A secret service agent. There you go. We like, it ain't, it ain't in the case to get away with being a secret service agent. I, I, I can slain bricks and everything under under the name of the law, and it's okay. Well, it ain't okay, but baby, you know, um, you feel? We, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. Secret service agent. It ain't nothing more motherfucker can't get away with. So you might not want that job. All long don't get caught though. You said you said like if, if I can lie my way into being a secret service agent, I can lie my way out of court. I can lie my lie my way out of the pr pr prison system. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, secret secret service agent. All right. Um. Next question is Hope. Mm-hmm. What are two things you'll never spend your money on? Two things that I never spend my money on. <laughs> uh, a woman don't that don't care about me. And uh, let's see. Oh, and somebody else did. Yeah, so I ain't I ain't spending no money on a girl that don't give that don't care about me and I ain't paying off nobody debt. Okay. So them two things I would never spend my money on. Okay. And what what two things will you never spend your money on? Um one, one would oh, be um I would I would never spend one thing I would never spend my money on is something I don't want to spend my money on. That's one. Uh, like if if it was a situation, if I had to say it, anything that I had to uh you know how sometimes situations come up where people may, you know, ask you for something or you know what I'm saying, situations may come up where it's um, just a birthday or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And some people feel obligated to spend a certain dime because of, of the scenario. Nah. Nah. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give you a gift if I don't mean for you to have this gift and I want you to have it. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just not give it to you. You know what I'm saying? And you can just feel however you want to feel about that, but I just it's like you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I I, I yeah, for sure. One would be something I don't want to spend my money on, and and two would be um something that that of intent of intention to hurt another person. You know how some people do stuff just to <laughs> just for whatever reason. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I'm saying? I would never. I, 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 I spend my money on Huh. I said you a good one, bro. If I want you out of here, I'm gonna get you gone. I drop some bands on your head. <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I hear what you said. <laughs> oh, man, I ain't you know. Hey, right, Paul, you gotta but Paul, but Paul, look. Wait a minute. You know, Paul. I... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put the bag on your head. <laughs> oh, 
Un deuxième plein. Un deuxième plein. Oh, si. too much and not doing enough. Okay. I'm going to say bad hygiene. You can have the most sweetest heart in the world, but if you stink, I can't be around. I'm going to move around quick. Knew you was a little vicious. I mean... <laughs> that, ain't, that ain't vicious. Oh, vicious is walking around that. knowing you stink. <laughs> like it's 2022. It's, if, if if somebody's smelling in 2022, ooh, ooh, this yeah, is not. Mm -mm. You had the most sweetheart in the world, bro. I can't do it if you stink. Hell no. You could be the most kindest, loving, most caring person in the world, but if you stink, then no, I ain't gonna be in your life. You you can have a long life. I'm just not in it. You know, so I swear. Life, I'm just not in it. <laughs> Period. I'm just oh, not man. in it. Just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. Um, Hope, what's your biggest fear mm -hmm. to relationships? Somebody dying on me. Nah, honestly, like my biggest fear is me really loving somebody and I find my soulmate and they die on me. That's for real. That is for real because that is hard. I, I mean, that yeah, that's real hard. Whew. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I don't want my soulmate um, to die on me, so that's my biggest fear. Um, um you know. Uh, us running out of time, yeah. Just, yes, yeah, but like he's saying, same thing like that. I mean, you know, like just us running out of time. You know, when you find somebody, it's gonna be like this, it ain't gonna feel like y'all been together 40, 50 years, or you know, however long the child feel. It ain't no, no feeling come with when you and when it's real love, there's no time, no feeling come with that time. You so you just lose time of it in the essence of it but you know one thing your body is not capable of doing certain stuff and you just and it's like damn out of time man we out of time because i know for me at the end of the day yeah oh, there's no, some stuff no. that i want huh i know i mean and i i'm oh, my bad bro i was on uh, hollering at my partner neither one of y'all have children right mm -hmm. Nah, no, team, kids. no kids. Yeah, team, no kids. <laughs> team, no kids, man. No boy. They both disasters already. Let's end this. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> nah, I get I'm kicked. Just... I get booted for not having yeah. no kids. I'm just joking, y'all. I'm just joking. Y'all know I'm a older lady. Uh -oh. I'm older than both of y'all, so, you know, I don't want no kids. I don't want no kids. That's, that's messed up. Oh, man, KK, fun. I don't know. I ain't, never, I ain't never saying I ain't want none. I just, I just don't got none right now. Well, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want no kids. Y'all know I'm a little bitch. I don't want Oh, I know it's been a long time. <laughs> uh, man, you know, when we first got on the live, 
when when we when we first when we first initiated just that communication, you never was like trying to be seen or heard, but you never wasn't trying to be behind, like shy, like ducking. You see what I'm saying? So I always felt like you had character from day one. It was always character, and that that character never changed. You know, you go, you, and we've been through so many years. Like I've been knowing you for so long, it never was like, yeah, you go through certain stuff and you be not feeling certain stuff, but your character, you've been consistent with it. And I saw that right off the bat, so. Oh. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah. Paul, what, what was your impression of me when you first seen me where, I think it was probably in Wifey's Live. I think it was in Wifey's Live. What was your impression of me? Uh, I'm gonna most definitely say your personality. You funny as hell. Like first impression, funny as hell. Second impression, damn. Now nah, I'm, I'm gonna keep that second impression to myself. But yeah, first impression, you funny as hell. I love a woman that can keep me laughing because that means she entertaining. That means she not boring. <laughs> I mean, the second impression on is on some more like explicit stuff. I'm not gonna say right now because I'm being respectful. And I don't want to come off too sexual and too explicit because, you know, so I'm going to keep that to myself. <laughs> oh, me. <laughs> so first, first impression you find is here. <laughs> All right. Next question. <laughs> um... This is stupid, man. Man, who is this Wavy's Coco? Woo. <laughs> we can get. Um, what do you consider a nutritious breakfast after a long night? A nutritious breakfast after a long night? Um, man, what? So let me ask you this: Am I saying this? Are you asking this for? For me, for what I would be eating or what I would be cooking <laughs> for the next person, or, or for a, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, how how would that be? I mean, well, how would you... considering it would be for the both of you. Okay. I would say for me, for me and you. For me and you, for the both of who's for for is it for the both of me and you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, for for you, for me and you. Um, I don't know, man. Oh, and I can have it my way. Oh, lamb, huh? I, I can have, I, yeah, a lamb, a lamb, a lamb chop a piece with eggs and asparagus. Okay. Yeah. I thought you was going to say some, um, what was that you was yeah. eating the other morning? Uh, that little, I think it was like sushi. a plate. Oh yeah, sushi rolls, fried sushi rolls. Yeah, I yeah, I like to eat healthy. I like to eat food like that. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, uh, it's fried sushi rolls. So it's like it got crab meat, um, well, you know, so lobster. You know, I don't eat like that. I don't like that kind of food. So what kind of food you like? I mean, what you said was fine. Everything that you said was fine. The eggs, oh okay, okay. The lamb chops and all that the asparagus. I eat that, but yeah. I don't eat. Anything the sushi. Chinese related. Okay. All right, uh, like sushi. I don't eat that. All right, Pope. Same question. I ain't gonna lie. Day day already said my answers for real. So I'm uh if we talking about like just anything, give me. Oh, she said, yeah. <laughs> So, so if we talking about breakfast with us, like we can just that honestly, that is nutrition. That's hella high, that's, that's a high source of protein. Look up for the both of us. It actually is. Look up. <laughs> yes, it is. My 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 um my cells my sperm cells is nutritious for you and your um uh, you know the juices that come from you nutritious for me. It actually is. It actually is scientifically nutritious. Like, look it up. Like, honestly, it is. Who said that? But if we talk, if we, it, you was on. if we talk about food, 
we if we talking about food, he then I say some point. chicken and waffles. I'm saying, but he do like, you but said, he do you got said, a point. You say nutrition. Like he is stating a fact. I mean, it's a scientific. Fact. I mean, I mean, regardless of how yeah, he is not actually technically scientifically telling the he's he's telling the truth. It's scientifically. <laughs> You're right. Me in my life. No. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, Lord, it's, you it's scientifically too. Sure. <laughs> You're right. No. It's science, daddy. Saying, it's man. science, daddy. Science. Sometimes the information, you know, sometimes we lose that and we appreciate that. We appreciate because that's a fact. That's... Oh, my yeah, it, it, yeah. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to say your juice is for me, my juice is for you. That shit better than vitamin C. That shit better than orange juice. You don't get no better than that. <laughs> that shit better than orange juice. You know what he said? Vitamin C? Lord Jesus. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next question. <laughs> next question. <laughs> All right. Woo. What was the worst purchase you've ever made? <laughs> Worst purchase I ever made. Um, uh, worst purchase I ever made. You ain't never made. Thinking I was, yeah, thinking I was, thinking I was doing some, um, trying to buy a car, and my tea lady was telling me she was like, "You need to make sure that that car get looked at. You need to make sure that that car get looked at." And I'm like, "Man, I got the money. I ain't trying to hit that, man. I ain't trying to hit it. I got the money. I want this car right here." I go get the car. The car <laughs> break down in a week. The car break down in a week. I spent like twenty two hundred on the car. Car break down in a week. I'm thinking I got some live. I think I got some live for twenty two hundred dollars. She said, "I told you." I was like, "Mama, can you hear me?" She said, "No, cause I told you." And that was the worst purchase I ever made. I lost that little old twenty two hundred dollars. You know how much I hustled, scratched, and scraped up to get that little old piece yeah, of wood. And this man that sold me a limon. Yes, that is by far. <laughs> the, I, I I wish I knew the put. I wish a man say, "Man, I can't even remember the man who used to have a dealership, boy." Hey, that man sold me a lemon a week ago. And then and then the next cause look, the next uh I think it was like two weeks before I can he kept saying, get it told, get it told, get it told, right? Get it told. Y'all get it told, we're gonna get it paid. Y'all get it told. So it took us like what to my mama like almost two weeks to get the car uh towed to the yard, right? To where the, the dealership was. We get it towed to the where the dealership was. Guess what? Ain't no cars there, ain't nothing. This man gone. Ain't nothing there. Ain't nothing there. <laughs> Nothing. It's, don't laugh. It ain't funny. This is not funny. So oh God. Oh so my mom. This man finessed. It was income tax season time too. That man finessed the shit out of me, man. Oh, oh, that man. That shit hurt to this day. Twenty two hundred dollars. Twenty two hundred dollars. I scratched. I hustled. And boy, he finessed me. Oh, he finessed me good. Hmm. What no cars, yeah, no cars yeah. was up there. None. I say, okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I say, mama, if we ever see him, we're gonna get him. Hmm. <laughs> All right, Pope, and the same question for you. <laughs> well, that, man. Man, this is not fun. I, 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 I am hurt. <laughs> this man hurt my soul. <laughs> <laughs> hey. hey. <laughs> you, you ever, you ever saw, you ever saw weed back then? You know how many, you know how many uh things roll ups roll the. I had to roll so much weed up and sell so much weed to come up with this money, and I thought I was doing something. And this man jipped me, man. Say, man, I wanted to cry, man. Mm -mm. Yeah, I want to cry, but out the first, yeah, that hurt my soul, bitch. And if I see him to this day, it's on. <laughs> it's on. If I see him today, hey, look at old oh, man. Ain't you? You, 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 you? I know you from somewhere. You sell cars, didn't you? School? Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You did. You used to sell cars. <laughs> All right, we're gonna let it go.
we're gonna let right. we just we just high in my mind speaking in third person but that's what oh. we thinking if we do see it if we do see it, we still gonna be respectful and speak but you know Oh, your turn. Uh-huh, damn. See, when you're a young black man in America like me, you done blew through so much money. I got a lot of bad purses. I done made it. I, I ain't going to say I regret them because they taught me a lesson. But it's like, okay, you know what? I'm going to go on and say this. And I ain't trying to sound irresponsible for them, but I'm going to say the most messed up purses I done made in life has been life insurance. Because I, uh, I, I opened up a life insurance policy about two years ago with the company, right? So, you know, the man talking to me and everything, making sure, ma- making it sound like everything cool with the company, like I'm going to really benefit off the company. And I ain't going to lie, I kind of felt like it was a scam. I'm like, you know what, bro? People always talk about how you should get yourself insured and stuff. America always talk about how you should feel and get insurance to be responsible, quote unquote responsible. All right, so boom, I opened up the insurance policy and shit. Two months into the policy, I'm noticing these folks double charging my account and shit. And also, I'm also noticing that I'm getting a new insurance agent every three months. I done had the account two years, but why am I, why my information being swapped from person to person, bro? Like, why I'm paying double for some life insurance? Like, it's crazy. And they make it seem like you feel the money going to a good cause, but it's like, honestly, if you're not using your money to get to the next step in life, it's a waste. I'm up here spending life insurance, banking, that the insurance policy going to do right by me when I die, but I don't know if it's going to do right by me if I die, because I ain't going to see it. It's a waste. You feel me? So yeah, life insurance will definitely a waste because ain't no point of spending your money into something into something you ain't gonna never see. Like I believe that's stupid. You feel me? Like yes, life insurance is stupid. If, if, if you gonna get insurance, get health insurance, get dental insurance, get eye insurance, get insurance you can keep live, keep get insurance you can keep using while you alive. You can't use life insurance. You can't. Like uh, cause who to say them folks gonna do right by your policy if you die? But- if you, that's why, if you don't, if you, why life insurance policy, that why life insurance get that. Like, if you look at the rates on life insurance, a lot of them companies get sued. They begin sued that day. So if, yes, you, if, you, if you, do, if you do, if you do, if you do go that way, if you do go that route, and you don't get life insurance, it will be better financially for you to be able to spend your money. You are correct, but your money won't grow interest on top of it. Whereas if you do get life insurance your money grows interest on top of this dollar. So your money's going to make money. Whereas if you don't get life insurance, you'll be able to utilize your money. Yes, but you won't, it grow in, it won't grow interest on top of its dollar. So that's true, bro. With the company I was with, I just didn't trust them, bro. I ain't trust them. You feel, I, I spent over a band in this shit and I feel like they and were paying me. You said what? I said, I ain't, I ain't trust insurance. You said he want to pay Yeah, I'm gonna get cremated. I'm gonna get cremated. I want, bro. I, I want my, I want my family to, to, to blow, like, bro, blow the money. That what it's for. You can't take it when you leave. If I leave my folks some money, they better blow that shit. Don't, don't, don't go broke trying to bury me. Cremate me, put me in a nice little urn, put me in a museum somewhere where ain't nobody gonna touch me and blow that money, bro. Enjoy the money, invest it, flip it, enjoy the money while you still alive. You, you can't spend money while you dead. No, but like, can, have you ever seen one? Have you ever seen one of your uh, ancestors come out the ground and talk about some money they just spent? No, you can't spend money while you dead. Enjoy the money while you alive. Yeah, take my. If I leave, if I ever leave my folks some money, millions, don't blow that shit trying to bury me. Cremate me, put me in the urn, use that money, invest it, spend it while you alive. Cause that's the only thing you can do. Dead folks don't make money. Dead folks don't spend money. Next question. <laughs> Hey, that's just real shit, though. Yeah, yeah. That's just real. You can't spend the money while you dead. Can't spend the money while you dead. I was getting ready. I was getting ready to tell my people what I did. Put me in a nice urn, bro. Oh my god, my worst purchase was the same (laughs) as Wu. I took myself, called myself trying to be grown, took myself to an auction, and bought a whole 
minivan that used to be used for doggy transportation. And then when I drove it home, hello, how you know it used to be? My husband said, "Do not take that car out of here." I got around the corner and it and it caught on fire. The engine caught on fire. And I, oh, Mrs. Ada, what's up? I ain't see Back around the corner to my house. Oh, you didn't take it back up to the shop? I bought it from an auction. It's as is. You didn't take it back up. To, you didn't take it back up to the ice. I give up. As is, as is me ass. We going back up here to this auction. You know what I mean? So, hey, somebody from the somebody from the talk to me because <laughs> you can tell. Me. Hey, 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 hey. I am so sorry, brother. I am so sorry. Hey, you well, couldn't be my wife. Was, you couldn't. Hey, baby, we're going back up there now. It was Tow it the to the auction. Like Tow it to the auction. Like Stop, there, oh, God. Looked at me like that man looked at you. He disappeared. They would have been gone. The auction yeah, would have been gone. Auctions don't stay there all day. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I just was out yeah. of some money. I mean, I don't remember how much I spent. It wasn't that much, you know. It was about seven hundred, maybe. I thought I had me some live shit. Dumb, 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 dumb. All right. All right. My last All right. question. My last question. Let me let, let me find my last question. Give me one moment. Uh, <laughs> All right, I got the last question. This is the last question. The last question. All right, I'm gonna start with Pope. Um, if you could travel to any year in a time machine, what year would it? What year would you choose, and why? Uh, damn. Then they said 1988. Let me start over. Damn. So I, I, could, I could go back in time or go ahead in time? Whatever year you choose. Damn, that's a hard one. Uh... Now, I was born in the 90s, so I ain't going to want to go back there. Give me something I ain't never seen before. I ain't never seen the past and I ain't never seen the future. Um, well, I done seen my past time. I don't know. I want to go back to the um to the sixties and seventies, cause some of these women swear they they were never thoughts back in the day. Like some of these old women, they didn't they, they swear they weren't thoughts back then. So I want to go back in their time and see if they were really thotting off in that. So yeah, I'm gonna say let me take me back to the sixties and seventies. <laughs> 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 take, take me, take me back to they were really thought now, cause these, these old girls, these old women swear they, they went no thoughts back then. <laughs> he want to see what Granny was doing. <laughs> Boy, that was. Hey, I'm. A, hey, this is what I. Hey, I do believe I'm old. I, I do believe it was a different kind of something that they was putting on the men that was having the men take care of all <laughs> that go to the world. I'm like, man, listen, grandma was putting something on him you don't know nothing about. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Papa was straight. Yeah. <laughs> you hear me? Grandma putting something so on, on Papa you don't know nothing about. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Funny. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I honestly, it, you know, like, I would, I would pick both. They would both be dates. 
But it would be like a one day and then that'll be it. Yeah. Oh, so you want a one night stand, huh? Yeah. All right. Hey, I'm cool with that. <laughs> hey. I'm cool with that. I'm just joking, y'all. y'all know. Y'all know we here. We nah, here. Hey, oh, yeah, nah, thanks, thanks, thanks. I still, I still take that date. It's cool. One night only. Yeah, oh hey, I don't mind having one night. Lord. I can gather. Well, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate y'all coming through and doing this for me. I really appreciate. I oh, mean, we appreciate y'all, ladies, for having us. All right. Appreciate it, boss. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Oh, man. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Bella. Hey, y'all, favorite. Yeah, I'll be going live here now and again. I got-